center axis and allows me to attach the boosters to the tri. So what we got here in our stages here is you can see this fuel and this rocket and the decoupler, the tri decoupler, and then the three solid boosters. Now the problem is, is if I activate this stage, this rocket will ignite, but this uh, rocket is attached to my coupler. So burn the coupler, seeing that it's still connected to it. These couplers are good for when you when it shed dead weight. So what, what I want to do is add a sequence, which I can do the plus sign. It'll give me another stage, and then I'll move my fuel up to that stage, and then this booster up to that stage. And then what I want to do is when I activate this stage, it'll kick the igniter, but at the exact same time, uh, just to save on timing, you know, because you want to make this as efficient as possible. I want to shed this decoupler right when this rocket ignites. So what's going to happen is I'm going to move this decoupler up to this stage. So now when I activate this stage, this decoupler will explode, releasing my solid boosters and igniting my rocket at the exact same time. Now what I can do is um, I'll do for a simple uh, experiment is uh, I will uh, I will add a decoupler to the try, even though it's a little wasted energy. But you'll see what happens when you have a decoupler by itself. Now again, it, it tried to group everything. So what I'm going to have to do is add one down here and then move my solid boosters as my first stage. Now what I'll do is when you have a group of three, you click it once to get the three. So if you want to move just one rocket to one stage, you can. But if you want to move all three of them, which I do, uh, I want them all to ignite at the same time, I will grab the top one and drag the top one down. Oh, it didn't do it. So let's do it again. You can see it's uh, highlighting both of them. And then I could drag it. I clicked on it once, so it, it was showing you uh, the three. So if I click on uh, the top one, you can see the bottom two are highlighted. That means it will move the whole group. So what's going to happen is I'm going to burn through, and then uh, we're going to hit this blank spot. Uh, actually, yeah. oops. Now you can see I had it on one symmetry. It only worked once. So, But I'm making things a little complicated here. Let's just go with one flight. We'll go into more stuff later. All right, connect. I'm going to grab this change the symmetry to three. Oh, why is it being so difficult? All right, there we go. So I got my first stage and the second stage. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of that stage. We don't need it. So we can just get rid of it. All right. Get a little too complicated for you guys. We're just going to start with something really simple. Uh, of course, then we have to get the capsule back on the ground safe. And the, really the only way to do that right now with our technologies available is a parachute. So we'll attach a parachute to the top capsule. And that is included in our last stage. So um, what I want to do now is I don't want to launch the parachute when I jettison the rocket. Because I might be in space. And I really don't need the parachute. So what I'm going to do is move the decoupler down to its own stage. So when this all burns out, I can release it and then float in space. And then when I need to come back down, uh, I'll use the parachute. So let's go ahead and save this as curb one. And let's launch this bad boy. Now, uh, quick things to note uh, you're on your launch pad and you're ready to go. Your carbonauts are all in their suits. Here's your throttle and your uh, flight vectors. Uh, this is like a compass globe. It allows you to see your orientation to yourself. Uh, so first of all, you can increase your throttle by shift and decrease it by control, which will help for landing and stuff, and you want to get more precise and control. Uh, to activate the SAS modules, you do T, which help flight control. 
and then if you have rocket assist control you can hit R which are those little rockets I was showing you on the side but usually you don't use those until you get closer to uh, zero uh, atmosphere so again uh, we have all that we cranked it up to speed you can see our g-force meter here uh, the red cross is our rear end and when we start taking flight you'll see a green circle come up as long as those are lined up that means you're going in a straight line but if the green circle starts to vary at a point you can tell you're at an angle by that much uh, so you can tell that your front end is a little skewed from where your rear end is or where you've been so it's basically where you're heading and where you've been so um, not to make that any more complicated let's go ahead and light this candle so we'll go three two one go as you can see uh, right off the bat I've got my solid boosters are burning uh, you can tell we're falling at an angle because we're, s we're s separating where we're heading to where we've been so you can see this is skewed from the our rocket boost Now that is burned out. I'll hit spacebar to detach that. Alright, we had an utter failure there. Let's to see what happened there. So seeing that our rocket is now burning through the solid fuel race and the guys look pretty upset, we're just going to go ahead and abort by hitting the space bar. But you can see detached our carbonites from the nightmare following them. We'll deploy the parachute and allow that catastrophe to pass them. Oh. <laughs> so right off the bat we had a complete failure. Uh, our rocket had Splash down into the at <laughs> the ocean. Uh, we'll have to fish these guys out. So, uh, in my next video, I'll start showing better builds. I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown of the parts, basically how they work. I'll go into more detail on all the flight controls, staging, and all the parts uh, as we progress in these videos. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and hit escape. And uh, we're going to go ahead and end flight. Now here you can see uh, all the stages and when they ignited and what happened. And uh, for some weird reason, uh, the tricoupler was damaged. Uh, we'll have to look at that in the build. But here you can see some useful information. Yeah, my highest altitude was 3,900 meters your speed and uh, how long the flight took, uh, total G's incurred, and uh, distant travel, all that kind of interesting information. And since that was a failure, I will be going back to the space assembly building, but if you have a lot of rockets you like to play with, you can just go back and forth and swap them out using the space center button. But for now, we will just go back to the vehicle assembly building and see where we went wrong. So, I'm not sure why that didn't decouple. Uh, I'm sure, I'm not sure if that's just acting like a stack, but for some reason, it did not release. So, we'll look into that later in the next video. Uh, for now, I hope you enjoyed the breakdown, and uh, we'll see you at the next video as the builds get better. Thanks again, and don't forget to subscribe to the videos for, so you don't miss out on any new videos from this series. Have a good day.